Hello again, I'm Limmy. Uh, this time I'm going to be, you can't call it unboxing because it's a book, so I guess you could say an unwrapping of the Grand Theft Auto Limited Edition Strategy Guide. Uh, it's yet unopened, as you can see there. Dun, 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 um, it's got the, uh, but that's sort of like a card inlay on the back there. Uh, it's, as I say, yet unopened. I think I'll receive this Thursday, well, Tuesday, but for some reason I, I, the postman couldn't have knocked the door very hard. And, well, I missed him. Uh, didn't get to pick it up on Tuesday, uh, but went to get it Thursday. Anyway, whatever. I have it. Uh, still unopened in the cellophane wrapper, or plastic wrap, whatever you want to call it. And so, it looks like there's a bit, ah, here we go, a bit of a rip at the top there. This is the first time I've opened it, so, you are witnessing the unopening, what unopening? The opening of the uh, limited edition guide. Uh, the only thing is that it came, you, you don't get, you might have heard you get a lithograph and other stuff. This is how it's arrived, I'm guessing that everything is inside, so that's removed there. Uh, oh. uh, all that's on the back is the Rockstar logo. Um, let's just put that down there for a minute. Uh, this is just that, nothing else on it, uh, just tells you what's inside, only with a limited edition, hardcover collectible guide, a collection of Grand Theft Auto 5 illustrations, an exclusive lithograph, plus everything you know, signature series guide, blah 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 blah, blah. so, put that there, I'm guessing that inside here, is what looks like okay, don't really hit. it's I'm, I'm guessing that's the lithograph it's uh it's it feels a little rough on the surface yeah. Uh, but yeah, there you go, there are your three Grand Theft Auto protagonists. As most of you may already know if you've already played the game anyway, so... We shall place that inside there. In a rather handy envelope. And Ooh, rather fancy game there. Uh, <laughs> another rather fancy in there. And there we go. Table of contents. You have a lot. <laughs> Basically. Uh, you have all those. Uh, the basics, vehicle showroom, main story missions, starting from the prologue all the way down to the last one. Strangers and Freaks. Abigail, Barry, Beverly, Cleus, the Slayer, the Girl. Uh, random events. Abandoned Vehicle 1, Abandoned Vehicle 2. Uh, luring the Girl into Alley. Mm. Do not copy in real life. Uh, hobbies and Pastimes. Mythalianoth. Uh, art section, character illustrations, and that's pretty much it. That's you know all that is in the table of contents. And as it's got game features there, you've got um, character skills: Trevor, Michael, Franklin. The usual goes. You've got a 
a special skill in vulnerability. That's rather handy to have, isn't it, really? Uh, uh, Trevor, while his special ability, while his special ability is active, Trevor can take an excessive amount of damage without dying. So there you go. Did you know that? Uh, melee weapons, knife, nightstick, hammer, baseball bat, crowbar, golf club. Uh, handguns, there you've got your pistol, combat pistol, AP pistol, stun gun. Machine guns. And with these you've got a rather handy little table there. I don't know if, if I can I get close enough as you can see there's a like a little table. You've got a little graph thing with damage, fire rate, accuracy, range, and then uh the upgrades table you uh you can have up to sixty rounds which will cost you thirty six dollars. Um an extended clip, which will cost you $322. That's for the assault rifle. Uh, you've got the assault shotgun, which does lots of damage, but not as much as the sword off shotgun. So, uh, the old RPG there, rocket, rocket launcher. Um, and so, basically, yeah, it, it gives you all the, the basic information at the beginning. Uh, it tells you about the wanted level. If I mean, if you've never played a Grand Theft Auto game before, it's pretty handy to uh, to know these things. Now, if we just skip to the back here, yeah, let's see. Uh, limited edition. Go. Ah, here we go. And, and there is your. Uh, Character artwork. That one, the uh, Doctor Friedlander therapist. That's that guy who looks a bit like um, what's his name? Robert Harris. I don't know if you know who he is. Uh, Nervous Ron. That guy there. Uh, well, hello, Tracy. <laughs> There's uh, Tracy there, and we also go there, Lester, the IT expert. So, at the back here, you've got artwork of the characters. The Beach Girl, I think we all know uh, about uh, Wade, the intellectual. Yeah, he looks very intellectual. Uh, Simeon, Tonya, uh, Tal, Amanda. You've even got. Chop the dog. Uh, as you can see, it's quite substantial. It's rather thick. Uh, you got all your cars, and vehicles, and whatnot. Uh, on that bit, you got the commercial video, commercial videos. Yes. Anyway. Uh, repossession. Uh, well, welcome to Los Santos and Blaine County. Uh, main story walkthrough. So, this is basically where it starts. Uh, you've got the prologue. Kind of, you know, what to do. Gives you tip. Well, I'll say it gives you tips. It pretty much tells you what to do. Yeah. Uh, you, you choose. Uh, da, 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 da. You know, your basic controls. Do you choose? I don't know if you choose which character you play at the beginning. My time's stupid. I don't have the game. <laughs> anyway, not yet. Anyway, I will eventually. Not yet. So it's a you know first thing is tie up the guard. There'll be no spoilers in this, by the way. I'll, I'll read out a couple of things, but I'm not going to spoil anything. Uh, so you've got that. Uh, repossession is actually one of the uh, like story missions. Um, like that one there, father, son, daddy's little girl. And the good thing is, I mean, it's got Andy uh, images showing you different things. Um, 
Now, let's see what we've got here. We've got... Oh. Ah, right. We've got two different uh, variations on the jewel store job. There's one that's called the load approach, which is... I'm guessing that basically means to go in all guns blazing, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it gives you uh, a map, uh, basically, you know, what to do, how to get there, what, what you do once you're there. But there's also another version called the Jewel Store, the Smart Approach, which obviously is uh, not to go in all guns blazing, basically. <laughs> Uh, right, you've got Mr. Phillips, uh, and by the book, as it, as it goes through, it's, it also gives you uh, the mission completion stats. Um, from what I gather, when you do the missions, there are certain things you need to do to get like a gold status. Um, such as in this by the book, you've got Don't Stop Me Now. Electrocution at the two thirds, wrenched, it's, a, it's legal. And it tells you what you need to do to get those gold medals or uh, to get the 100% completion. So, uh, so yeah. And as you can imagine, it, you know, it takes you right the way through to the end. Um, So, and I think this one here is, oh, oh, you've got space, spaceship parts. Well, you probably know about the spaceship, I don't know if you do. Uh, uh, you've got a handy page there with the list at the bottom there of parts and a map of where the parts are located. Uh, And the, the, the spaceship parts apparently count for 50 out of 100 collectibles. Um, also, if you need that extra little bit of help, I'm, I don't know how to talk too close, but these pictures are locations of where those parts are. So, uh, basically, if you need to find them, there they are. Um, and you've, there's the letter scraps, which same thing there, as you can see, it's a, a list and a map of where they are. And also on the next page, handy images to show you where specifically to find the... Uh, you've got aerial challenges, knife flights. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, knife flights where... Basically, you fly the plane, and you need to turn, uh, sort of, to fly through. Yeah, right. Okay, yeah. Now, aerial challenges, which is under the bridges. And it basically shows you which bridges you need to go under. And there are quite a few. <laughs> uh, stump jumps. Yeah, you're like a good jump. Yeah. Uh, anyway, that's the same thing, shows you where they are. So, yeah, it's very extensive. Uh, Strangers and Freaks, a mini table of contents there. You've got all the different uh, people. There's Cletus. Not quite the Slap Jordi as I originally mentioned, but uh, there you go, there's Cletus. And, well, I've got to say, it does pretty much tell you how to complete the game. Uh, I mean, you've got submarine pieces. This is probably the best way of using the guide. Um, if you get a little stock while you're on a mission, it is good reference, you know, if you get stuck on... Uh, what's this? The Hang 10 mission uh, contact point t trevor main objectives go to the strip club prerequisites complete monkey business so once you get to there uh, 
if you get a bit stuck, you think, uh, what do I do, where do I go? Bam, it gives you the information of, uh, of where to go. It's a pretty short mission, really, as you can see there. It's not really too complicated. There's just the one gold medal thing, uh, mission time, to basically complete it within four minutes. That's, you know, it's a, very, it's a small mission, really, so. But, yeah, it's like a monkey business, which was the prerequisite to main objectives. You've got uh, quite a list there of uh, main objectives, as you can see. So, I would say, if you're going to get the guide, it's up to you. I mean, to be honest, all you get with the limited edition is hardback, hardcover, I should say, really. um, a collection of illustrations, which were those at the back that I showed you, and the, lith the lithograph. For the extra money, is it worth it? Hmm. Maybe, maybe. I mean, these are not exactly limited. There's no there's no number on the front or back so it's kind of hard to say yeah it's uh, wholly collectible but when you consider the the normal guide i think retails for about 13 or 14 quid this one retails for a well for a rent for 19.99 as you can see that, so, and, uh, that, oh, actually, yeah, that is the lithograph, uh, you can see there, hang on, if I, so that you get a bit of light on it, yeah, that, that's the, uh, the list of stuff, like I say, is it worth it, probably not, I mean, if, if you, if you just want the, the bonus, of uh, these character illustrations on the back, then I guess yeah, you know maybe it's worth it. But if you're not bothered about that kind of stuff, I wouldn't pay the extra personally. Um, don't get me wrong. <laughs> this is not a review. This is just an unwrapping and a. I suppose you could take like a mini review, or we put a, a written proper review on mentalgamers.com. Uh, but it's like I say, if you're an avid Grand Theft Auto or Rockstar fan, you will get the art cover. You can get it apparently on a good deal for around just under £14 for the art cover. But not sure where it was, um, you need a code, anyway, uh, uh, new customers, blah, 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 I can't remember. Um, for that, check on posterbargain.co.uk, check on there, um, they should have details of where you can get it cheap, and to be honest, that's probably the best way of getting this, uh, well, if you can get it, it is very popular and hard to come by at the moment, so... Uh, shop around, you may find some. <laughs> um, but personally, I don't think I would pay the extra just for the sake of the lithograph and those illustrations. Uh, the rest of the guide is going to be basically the same, uh, the same as the normal guide, if you know what I mean. And it's like I say, the only difference is you've got the odd cover. Uh, so there you go. That's the Grand Theft Auto 5 Limited Edition Strategy Guide. Um, costs £20. Maybe not worth 20 Probably 15 at the most. So, but like I say, post above. I will put links on the uh, details. So uh, check them out. And um, thanks for watching. Bye.